Residents of a mobile home park in Chocowinity are raising concerns tonight after getting notice of a possible eviction from their homes. WNCT's Dylan Huffman digging deeper into the issue. He's in our newsroom tonight with more. And Dylan, what did you find out? Ken, it's four or five trailers at a mobile home park in Chocowinity. Now, these people admit these trailers need a lot of work, but they say they have nowhere else to go. I've been working day and night cleaning that place up. Carrie Lupton calls this trailer in Chocowinity home. He says he's put a lot of work into it. There's so many holes in there and I'm running out of plywood to put over, you know. And that's the reality for several other families in this mobile home park off Barnes Drive. There are four or five trailers that look just like this. Holes in the floor, mold, bathroom not working. I was working in the bathroom back right there trying to work on it. And uh, Taff and Terry came in and told me, he says, don't stop your work. And he says, because you're going to be evicted and all the trailers are going to be locked. I said, I got no place to go. So they reached out tonight on your side. And they say they were told by the health department that they were being kicked out. But for now, that's not the case. I reached out to the Beaufort County Health Department. Chief Building Inspector Brandon Hayes says he received a complaint from the town that the trailers were breaking the town ordinance. He says his team has to go out and look at them to determine if they need to be condemned or not. But he says he hadn't done that yet. Kerry said he's 75 years old and he's lucky to still be able to fix his place up himself, but he wishes he didn't have to. I don't know what to do. I really don't. I did speak to the landlord today. He says as far as he knows, nobody is being evicted. He did say that he is working on getting those trailers fixed. Now, he didn't mention Kerry specifically, but he did say that he does have a few other people who are not paying rent, and that's why he's not in a hurry to get those trailers fixed. This is a developing story. We will continue to follow it. For now, live in the newsroom, Dylan Huffman, 9 on your side. Dylan, thank you.